Yeah, this one. Right, we're here at uh, a construction site next to the Ashton um, Ashton Sports Grounds, and uh, we were notified that there was a python here on the location, which we then came to retrieve as we should do. Yeah, so when we arrived on the scene here, closer to the site, we noticed that there was actually two pythons. And uh, they're definitely a male and a female. So I'm just going to put them down and I'll cover them up till the box could get yeah. So I'm going to move the female, no, the male first. This is the male. He's only a wee guy, so I can support his whole body and I can get him in. He doesn't look too good for wear. You're gonna have to watch him, check him out and see. And this is the female, which is full in the blue. And I'm gonna just try and get her in there as gently as possible. I never like to pick them up. I like to uh, slide them into the boxes, but uh, no option now with two snakes instead of one. And uh, yeah, so there we are, we've got them in. And uh, we will take the story up a little bit further. On arrival back at the park, I notified Nick Evans to, uh, that we had caught these two pythons and said they were available for him to come and check if they've got any of his tracking devices in because I know that he's doing some research on the pythons, particularly around the Zimbali area. And I was afraid that these might have been two of his snakes or one of, his, one of them might be one of his snakes that had been displaced due to the flooding. But uh, Nick came and checked them and all was good. Neither of them were one of his subjects.